Yeah, I like the jet boils though. Do you think the pocket rocket and the stove would boil water reasonably fast? I think the pocket rocket would not be as efficient as that, but it's still pretty good. Nice thing about that is it's adjustable. Yeah. So you can simmer. Do you want to cook some veggies? Or yeah. Anything? And like for for coffee anyway. And that's the thing, like mostly the jet boil, I use it for MREs yeah. and coffee. And like this is what, like 250 mils probably. So pour 250 mils of water in a mm -hmm. pot, it's going to boil a lot faster. So. Yeah, I boiled a ton because mm -hmm. this is more than a cup of it. Okay, well good morning everyone. It's uh, day two and yeah, it was a nice evening. Slept like a log. Woke up, really nice morning, had coffee, some breakfast, did a few casts from shore and now we're just heading out to explore the area, do a bit of fishing on, I wanna call it the lake, but I guess it's the river. It's the river? river. The river. So yeah, I have horrible luck with fishing, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully I don't pass on the bad luck to Derek and uh, maybe we'll catch something. Had a fish on. Fish on! Fish on! 
It's just a little guy. Oh, the fish off. Fish off. Ooh. Oh, that is a nice one. Hold on to him for a minute. Oh, oh, <laughs> I just had a huge bite too. Okay, show him. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Isn't that a sweet fish? That is nice. Alrighty, buddy. How'd that guy get through here? This is power boat. Probably went to that dock over there. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I got bit off right there. Yeah. Just bing, gone. That makes a little bit of sense why I would have thought we would have had something in that I little bag. I can't believe we didn't catch anything. In but there. if there's a pike hanging out over here. So we're going to have to hang, maybe carry them.
जाए Fish on. And there's another one swimming right beside him. Oh! Shook it off right there. They're not what? Fish on. Keep that rod tip high. Don't put the slack on. Oh. Nice. Keep that rod tip high. Up. Up. Yeah, you pull up and you reel down. You don't ever reel. Okay. Of course, my Just camera's facing up. the other way. Just let them tire. Your drag is a little loose. Still? That's all right. If you can't adjust it while you're fishing. Oh. Oh. Keep that rod tip up. Okay, so we're back at camp and had a day out fishing and exploring. Mm -hmm. So gorgeous weather. Probably had to be 26 degrees. Blue skies. Not much wind. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, a bit of wind coming back, but even that, it was more just the landscape, like wind tunnel in some spots. But mm -hmm. 
Um, but yeah, it wasn't that bad. It, I had a little bit of difficulty, just wider canoe and uh, unloaded. So and single paddle and single and paddle I'm using a double yeah. blade, but still made like good time. I think you know oh, yeah. with all things considering. So, um, but yeah, really nice landscape. Like the uh, um, what would you call it? Little valley or whatever that you know where we had to pull the boats through yeah. channel channel yeah and uh yeah that was yeah stunning you know like oh yeah and you can tell that between spring and now probably three to five feet of water level difference right yeah so actually and that's what we talked about and so on the other side we stopped for lunch but we talked about the flow of the river and so if we were heading that way in spring the mm -hmm. it would be, be tough i don't know like would you i'm curious would you be able to make it through uh probably not right yeah be dangerous yeah and then like it was just rock on the side as well pretty much mm -hmm. so to get past that you'd have to find somewhere to like hump it up over the hill basically a bushwhack yeah, yeah. so um almost worth checking it out <laughs> but uh yeah what else bass Lots of bass. Yeah, bass fishing most of the day. Didn't aim for any other species and we got, you know, half a dozen in the boat. Not quite. <laughs> yeah. We lost a few. Yeah. No landing net and uh, like my biggest one is about three and a half pounds. Yeah. Beautiful Your smallest fish. one that you smallest landed? Smallest one was about three and a half inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think the biggest fish was released at the side of Jason's boat. Yeah. Yeah, when my rod broke. So. Yeah, that was unfortunate yeah. too. I just, uh, Derek suggested to switch out the uh, the lure that I was using to a white one. And I I just did. I did one cast and reeled it in. And then it was the second cast. And the camera was facing the other way. You know, I was just casting. And then boom. And mm -hmm. it, yeah. So. Yeah, it was a big, big bass. And uh, I'm not yeah. sure. We had it. We had it in our grasps. Yeah. And uh, the line broke, the pole broke, and it was gone. Yeah. Camera and, fell over in the canoe while doing it. Almost took a drink. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been bad. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was a, a little uh, a little lake that, on the map, that doesn't have a portage listed or anything, but it looked accessible. So we paddled in there. Short little trail. And we had this beautiful little lake to ourselves. And it was loaded with fish. Loaded. Yeah. I got a pike there too. Yeah, and that was like second or third cast too. Yeah. Like we're in the lake and you cast a couple of times and then mm -hmm. boom, pike yeah, on. Yeah, it was gorgeous. And yeah. We had to leave, we were running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. It's just been a perfect day and we got back and had a swim. Water's, you know, I stayed in for about five minutes this time. It's pretty. It's too cold. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too cold. It's probably 65. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, too cold. Um, <laughs> he swam. I washed off. Uh, yeah, I, I make myself myself out to sound like a real wimp, hey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's the truth. Yeah. Yeah, it was cold. No, it was. But and we paddled across the bay and uh, some dead standing trees, and yeah. we got some great firewood for tonight. Yeah, really good. Nice ash. Yeah, been dead for a while, so. Um, yeah. What's for dinner? Uh, sun-dried tomato, pesto, pasta, garlic bread, cheese. Yeah. Oh, and so Italian sausage. <laughs> Italian sausage. Yeah, so we're roughing it. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good last night, too, right? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, the other thing is, I don't want to say nobody else, so, so last night there was three canoes that came in. And like they went down the lake and then turned around and we haven't seen them. So don't know what happened to them. Mm -hmm. uh, this morning, uh, like a small fishing power boat came in, like a aluminum, yeah. whatever, 12 footer. Just like going at a nice pace, right? Yeah. With and his dog. With yeah. his dog. And uh, haven't seen him again. Yeah, so. I'm not sure where he disappeared to. That's you can't get a motorboat through there. Yeah. So, but aside from that, nobody else. No, it's, we have this place to ourselves and another stunning night. Yeah. 
Yeah. We should say again, because I don't know if this will end up being one video, one video or two, um, but you got the maps, because the maps have been great, like looking and seeing all the little lakes that uh, we can get to. Um, and I should say as well that this park, uh, what's the park called again? Magnetowan, <laughs> Magnetowan River, River Provincial, Provincial park. park. It's surrounded by Crown land. So, you know, the main route is the park and then there's all these other little lakes. Uh, and this, this dude made the map and it shows all the lakes and like everything, like beaver dams and. Yeah, it's a really good quality map. Yeah. And yeah. He, he has it available for free on Avenza and right. he's put a lot of work into it you can tell. And yeah. What's his name again? Jonathan Kelly. Jonathan Kelly. Yeah. He's backcountry Angling Ontario. Backcountry Angling he's Ontario. A amazing fisherman and outdoorsman. Yeah. 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 So definitely, you know, anybody watching check his his channel or map out if you want more information on that. Um haven't talked to him but yeah, super impressed with the map that he put together. Uh, anybody familiar with like Jeff's map and that type of thing, I would say that it's like as good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of like really clear. So, um, yeah, so I guess that's it. We, uh, we're going to cook up some dinner and have a nice fire. Sunset is about an hour away. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we don't know. Uh, we have no idea. We've had different weather reports. We can't get any signal out here a few days before coming into the park the weather was relatively good like a chance of rain like 60 percent chance of rain tomorrow and then right before yesterday it was, it was a pretty bad forecast but yeah hopefully they're wrong yeah so so that forecast said that it's supposed to start raining tonight and then rain pretty hard tomorrow so we'll see how how it goes if you know if we stay another night or not so Mm -hmm. But we're going to enjoy tonight because it's beautiful. Yep.